ஹாய் எவ்ரி ஒன் கலிகா சேத்தருக்கு கிளாஸ் நைன்த் சப்ஜெக்ட் சயின்ஸ் ஃபார் இங்கிலீஷ் மீடியம் இன் திஸ் செஷன் ஐம் கோயிங் டு கவர் நேச்சுரல் ரிசோர்ஸ் ஆல் த ஆக்டிவிட்டி சொல்யூஷன்ஸ் இன் ஒன் ஷார்ட் வெல்கம் டு தன் ஸ்டாக் நேச்சுரல் ரிசோர்சஸ் லேர்னிங் அவுட் கம்ஸ் டு ஸோ இந்த லேர்னிங் அவுட் கம் ஒன் identify the earth's natural resource and know their importance this is a flow chart natural resources first let's know what is the definition for natural resources the resources that are available in nature are called natural resources and examples are plant animal water air soil and mineral resources this is the flow chart here flow chart see we have to write the alternative names of air so we can write a breeze and wind components of air oxygen nitrogen water vapor carbon dioxide and trace of gases and air is an element compound or mixture it is a mixture the blowing wind is cyclone and cyclone affects heavy rain and landslide this is the part that covers it that is atmosphere the strata that is the layers of the air are troposphere stratosphere mesosphere thermosphere and exosphere activity 1.2 complete the following question list the remedial measures for air pollution use of public transport use of unleaded fuel emissions from industries to be checked and controlled automobiles to be periodically checked this is advantages and disadvantages of wind power plant advantages environment friendly renewable energy disadvantages can be established where wind blows higher than 15 km per hr need backup facilities require large area of land the initial cost is high high level of maintenance activity 1.3 flow chart of water molecular formula h2o the elements are hydrogen and oxygen in the ratio of 2 is to 1 definition for water pollution contamination of water bodies as a result of human activities and we have to write the reasons for water pollution industrial effluents sewage domestic waste and agricultural waste the effects of water pollution destroys the aquatic life poisoning of groundwater water borne diseases and here do you know the percentage of potable water on land that is 0.5% and uh, water has a definite shape no amount of fresh water on the earth 2.7% and uh, water is an acid or a base or a neutral liquid it is a neutral liquid discuss the importance of water in everyday life and list the main points helps maintain body temperature in plants and animals irrigation of crops domestic activities and industries this is the diagram of hydroelectric power plant we have to write the advantages does not produce pollution operational cost is low construction of dam helps in controlling floods reduce the effect of greenhouse gases and this is the flow chart of soil first you have to write the type sandy silt clay loamy soil and stratification layers humus top soil elevation layer subsoil bedrock and soil depletion or definition effect of quality and fertility of the soil when the nutrients in soil are removed we have to write the reason for soil depletion 
wind deforestation urbanization overgrazing then forest fires and construction work affects landslide flood loss of soil fertility economic loss solutions active forestation terrace farming decreasing uh, deforestation and counter farming the next question is we have to write the importance of soil holds the necessary nutrients for plants to grow it filters the rain water and uh, regulates the discharge of excess rain water preventing floods home to earthworms and microorganisms what is soil fertility and write the significance of fertilizers in the management of soil the quality of soil to provide all essential plant nutrients in proportions for the growth of the plant so significance of using fertilizers fertilizers provides balanced nutrition to crops this is about the minerals and salts present in the soil which are required for the plant growth minerals nitrogen phosphorus potassium calcium and sulfur salts chlorides and sulfates of sodium calcium and magnesium activity 4 this is about uh, plant resources the endemic species are examples are banyan primrose ebony and uh, reason for desertification climatic variations deforestation urbanization and effects of desertification loss of biodiversity soil erosion land degradation then we have to write the afforestation objectives so sölpa mistake aitu bariyo time alli so illi ide nodi objectives ill baribekagittu ill bardidini conserve the ecosystem air quality raising bamboo plantations and this is about the reserved biosphere pachmari biosphere reserve and importance of plant resource habitats for many organisms provides raw materials and provides food this is think what happen if carbon dioxide is not absorbed by plants carbon dioxide is essential for photosynthesis and uh, plants would not grow if carbon dioxide is not absorbed by the plants regions with more plants will be cooler why because plants release moisture into the air which can reduce the temperature this is the animal resource uh, flow chart endemic uh, species bison indian giant squirrel crow tiger wild buffalo and parrot and we have to write the example for sanctuaries nagar hole kudremuk banner gatta wildlife i have to write here but by mistake il bardi din nodi vaga sharavati arabi tittu bhadra brahmagiri bird sanctuary example il bandide rangana tittu gudavi attiveri now i am able to differentiate desertification and deforestation fertile land gets converted into deserts the soil is affected and lose the fertility this is one point this is the second point and causes of drought and deforestation removal of land a large number of trees are affected causes of soil erosion now the next one is learning outcome to knowing the biosphere and bio geochemical cycles and dio biosphere means the atmosphere the lithosphere and hydrospheres of the earth constitute the biosphere adane el kottirodu so bio geochemical cycles are water cycle carbon cycle nitrogen cycle oxygen cycle so then what is the definition for what are bio geochemical cycles recycling of the nutrients through different components in an ecosystem is called bio geochemical cycles diagram of water cycle 
So you can see the arrow mark upward here. That is evaporation. Illi clarity landre il bar de dini. And this arrow mark is downward. That is a precipitation. I written here also. And this is upward arrow mark transpiration. And this is upward arrow mark respiration. Il clumsy aagi the antheli matte innon sala il bar de dini. So here what happens? This transpiration, respiration, evaporation contributes for the water cycle, right? So respiration is not due in the human being, in the animals, right? What happens when uh, during the breathing we will uh, the lungs release the water and it will reach the atmosphere. During transpiration uh, that is occurs in a plant leaves, what happens? The water evaporates and uh, reach the atmosphere, and this is the evaporation. Uh, what happens? Uh, the water from the water bodies, due to the temperature, it will evaporates, right, and forms clouds, and it will bring rains. So this is brief explanation. Liquid surface water is heated by the sun and evaporates into atmospheric water vapor. Transpiration transpiration occurs in plant leaves. Animals release water to the atmosphere. while breath out contributes to the water cycle water vapor present in the air condenses to form droplets forming clouds water released from the cloud in the form of rain snow that is a precipitation fine it flows into stream bed until it reaches the ground water and you can observe this picture it is a oxygen cycle So let's talk from here. Photosynthesis in the presence of uh, sunlight, photosynthesis occurs, right? So during that time, this oxygen and uh, glucose are the byproducts. So oxygen released that reaches the atmosphere. Fine. So this is the respiration. Respiration in now, uh, animals and humans. So what happens during the respiration? we will inhale the oxygen and exhale the carbon dioxide and the carbon dioxide and water are the by products here fine so here what happens this carbon dioxide see you can see the link once again this is the link to the photosynthesis so what is the importance the oxygen cycle is involved in the maintaining the level of oxygen in the atmosphere we can say that carbon cycle and oxygen cycle they are independently occurs but both are interlinked anta helbodu i hope you have understood if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section nitrogen cycle in nature carbon cycle in nature write and practice sebo cycles in your notebook now we are at the end part i will know my own understanding what are natural resources the resources that are available in nature are called natural resources example plant animal air soil water resources what is water pollution causes for water pollution contamination of water bodies as a result of human activities causes industrial uh, effluent sewage domestic waste agricultural waste how is air pollution caused write the measures to prevent any human activity that brings about significant changes in the atmosphere is the cause for air pollution prevention industries to be established away from town and cities educating the public to use public transport and garbage burning must be avoided list the effects of air pollution on organisms bronchial diseases heart and nervous system damage lung cancer acid rain reduces the soil nutrients causes ozone shield depletion how is soil pollution caused and the role of uh, soil in the conservation of plants soil pollution caused by industrial waste agricultural runoff role of soil holds necessary nutrients for plants to grow filters the rain water and regulates the discharge of excess rain water preventing floods what is biosphere the biosphere is made up of the part of the earth where life exist 
and what is greenhouse effect name the greenhouse gases the infrared rays released due to the heating of the earth by solar radiation are trapped by some gases in the atmosphere this result in the increase in the atmospheric temperature is called as greenhouse effect so the green house gases are carbon dioxide oxides of nitrogen and methane draw the schematic representation of water cycle you have to draw what is acid rain list the reasons for acid rain if the precipitation has a ph less than 5.6 it is acid rain reason combustion of fuels in the industries coal burning power plants and air pollution and we completed the answers ಕೆಲವು ಮಂತಿಂದ ನೈನ್ತ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡಿಗೆ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಇಂದ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಡಿ ಅಂತ ಕೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರಿ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಸೋಷಿಯಲ್ ಎರಡು ಬಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈ ಬಿಸಿ ಶೆಡ್ಯೂಲ್ ನನಗೆ ಹೆಕ್ಟಿಕ್ ಆಗಿತ್ತು ಡೇಸು ಯಾಕಂದರೆ ಸ್ಕೂಲಿಗೆ ಹೋಗಬೇಕು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನನಗೆ ಟೈಮ್ ಸಿಗ್ತಾ ಇರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ರೀಸನ್ ಲೇಟ್ ಆಯಿತು ಸೊ ಆದಷ್ಟು ನಾನು ಎಲ್ಲ ಲರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಔಟ್ಕಮ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ಗೆ ನಾನು ಆದಷ್ಟು ಕೊಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಟ್ರೈ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಇನ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಥಿಂಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಎ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ಲಿ ಶೇರ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ನೀವು ನಮ್ಮ ಚಾನಲ್ಗೆ ಬಂದಿದ್ರೆ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಒಂದೇ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಅದು ನಮಗೆ ಆ್ಯಡೆಡ್ ಎನ್ಕರೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಹಾಗೆ ಇದನ್ನು ಆದಷ್ಟು ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಶೇರ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಹಾಗೆ ಲೈಕ್ ಮಾಡಿ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಸಜೆಷನನ್ನು ನಮ್ಮ ಕಮೆಂಟ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನಲ್ಲಿ ನೀವು ತಿಳಿಸ್ಬೋದು ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಎಂಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ